Hello guys, welcome back to my uh, channel. I'm Jeevan Tamang and in this video guys, we're going to be watching his Into Her Season 2 episode number 8 which is called, uh, what it is called? The And the Truth Sell, something like that, whatever. I'll <laughs> read that later. So last week, uh, Uncle Tito, what was his name? I, I forgot. Tito, whatever, the uncle uh, said the truth and the truth is with uh, Belle. This episode is going to be a hard one. So yeah, let's watch it together we'll share the pain uh before that guys please do not forget to uh, subscribe to the bell icon and so if you guys are getting mentioned as come let me comment section and don't forget to follow me on social media facebook instagram twitter tiktok the links in the description below now that any delay let's just get this reaction <laughs> Why are y'all involving someone who goes to schools? They are teenagers, right? You know what? Max is gonna feel like, you know, it's for me. That's why somehow I need to keep this a secret. I mean, uh, they if they hired you for a job, obviously they'd want the work out of you. Yeah, boy, it, boy, it. I'm sorry, alam kong mali yung ginawa ko, pero parang konkreto ni Tito kasi lagi ko sinasabi na bali nang mamatay tayo sa utang, pero mabuhay tayo sa nakang. Pero, pero buhay mo na yung nakataya eh. Hindi mo naman gagawin ko kung anong mangyari sa iyo. Pero nung... Does he realize that what he's saying, it's gonna put the guilt on Max? That because of me, my uh, everyone is in a fault. And she's just a kid actually. I mean, she does look, you know, mature and all of that, but she's a kid after all. And kids shouldn't have to deal with this. The police couldn't track his phone number? That doesn't survive with me, right? Yes, well, not directly, but indirectly, yes. No, let's not go technical. If you're involved in a crime, then you're a criminal, as simple as that. If I was in her place, I would just take on Tita Boyet and I would tell him to tell the truth in front of him because I don't want to. You know, if I love someone, I don't want to be like uh, all of this. No, y'all putting Max in a hot spot. I know this lawyer shit is saying something. Oh. Pakita ako agad 
kay Aguila. Then we'd have the evidence right now at the ah. namin yung kubaril kay Kuya. Oh my god, I'm done with my chapstick. I hate myself so ah. much right now. I came too much. Oh, sweetie, you don't know what she's up to, what she's been facing. Actually, why why does Max have to go through so much? Like, seriously. Sorry, I'm sorry. 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 Sorry, I'm sorry.
Taga sa akin yun, Kuya Randy. Pip, may iba pa bang nakakaalam ng plano ng car namin? Wala po. Mami kami lang. At saka si boss. Wala na yung CCTV video. Apparently, they make it a point to erase footage every few months. Makes sense, but uh, but it's confirmed. Aguila sent someone to get a copy of the CCTV footage of Dale shooting. Dale, think. What did Aguila say to you about this CCTV footage? Mukha meron isang CCTV malapit din sa pinaradahan ng kita bibigyan ng mga suspect. Baka makita natin ang mga mukha nila. Okay, balitaan mo ako ah. Oh god, this man. Daniel, Dave was busy celebrating his win that night. He couldn't have known na masasaksaan si Aguila nung gabi nyo. Exactly. He's, he's behaving like he knows what happened now, but he didn't know back then. He's very hard on Dave for some reason, like girl. No boy. CCTV technicians. Well, hindi pa pwedeng magtestify yung technicians pati yung tao ni Aguila about what they saw. Pwede naman, but the best they can do is just describe the faces of the suspects. Pwede ni sketch ng police yun, but it's not going to be an exact rendition of their faces. Our our best and most reliable witness is the CCTV. If pupunta tayo sa police o sa pamilya ni Dave as a witness of the crime. Kailangan may maituro si Boyer kung sinong maril kay Dave. Ang problema ko, Yarandy. He doesn't know. Hindi ako sigurado kung si Boyer kung sinong Dave kung maril kay Dave. Just say both of his name. You know, they would obviously confess. Pag humingi po ba tayo ng tulong sa mga polis, makakasuhan din po ba ako ng carnapping? Well, dahil hindi natuloy yung carnap, hindi ka nila pwedeng sampahan doon. The only crime the two place was a serious physical injury of Dale. Which he was not involved there. Now, depending on the fiscal, if he was involved in that attempted homicide. Which he was involved in. He was a part of the group, so... It's been several months since my son Dale was almost killed. Here's an idea. Why don't we set up a cash reward for whoever has information that could lead us to find this killer? That would speed things up, wouldn't it, attorney? Yes, it would. Well, but I'm afraid what happened to Aguila was a hit. Kung pag-inorder ng boss ng syndicate yun, what's to stop him from doing it also to our other witnesses before we can get any testimony? That's scary actually. Sa pamilya ni Dave. Sabi sa akin ni Chago eh, marami daw galamay si boss. At sa kapulisan, hindi tayo pwedeng basta-basta magtiwala. Oh my god, this poor girl is going through so much. Like, come on. <sighs> the night that Aguila was supposed to send you the CCTV video, hindi ka ba nagtaka nung wala ka natanggap? I did. Kaya tinawagan ko siya kaagad, pero hindi na siya sumasagot na. And then, what did you do? I called him again and again, pero wala pa rin sagot. So I gathered all my information and turned it all over to the attorney. Even yung pangalan ng suspect si Christopher Santos. And that was it. Uh, what does he think? He's a Superman or something? Don't kid yourself, babe. Whatever you do or don't do, involved ka sa kasapit ka. At kailangan mo. 
You know, somebody in the comment section last week told me that maybe D Dave is not really his own son. That's why he's being so hateful towards it. And honestly, looking at his behavior, the way he differentiates Dave and Dale is ridiculous. Like, how can you treat, put your one son on the pedestal and other son on literally on drain? Is he not your own son? He also went through the same trauma. Do you realize that, sir? So you, we, must do all we can to make sure he gets justice for everything he's lost. Can you understand that, Dave? I'm sorry, but Dave has done much more than you, you, have done. Okay, sir? I can't stop wondering and I know it's a show. <laughs> Think about you, ma'am. No, come on. And even if they don't understand, I would not blame them. Come on, it's their child involved. Any family would react the same way. And I know their relationship is gonna um, be like, eh, which is gonna take some time. She must have been feeling this great amount of uh, guilt. And ain't nobody making making this stuff about him hugging her, hugging her ex, right? That'd be the worst thing possible. Okay, if anyway, Dave is gonna see this, is gonna go fire, I know. But maybe she just doesn't feel like seeing Dave right now because she would not, you know, she would feel guilty. That's why. Okay, let's be honest, it's mutual, okay? It's not like he she he has done, you know, like greatest things ever. That's true. That's true. You know, when you spend so much time, you know, even though it, they are their ex, you share that connection. And uh, I guess you just need that one moment to get there and you'd be like all like before. It's just like that. You have that connection, you have that, you know, understanding level that has been formed. Oh. <laughs> You know, I really thought JC Alcantara was gonna play such a big role or something, but damn, he's only a, being a nurse in this? Like, they literally shared the photo of them on the Twitter, and 
like if we all put together all of his clips in the show, it's not even a minute. So you all put so much picture pictures for that? Come on! Damn, he look, why does he look good and he looks better every with each and passing episode? Dale, sir. Let the lawyers and police do that, not your problem. Yeah, he's taking this way too personally. And it's not even his job. Oh, he's still stuck on that. He needed this from Dale, you know. I know everybody has told him that, but he needed I'm happy, I'm alive, and you're alive. That's true, that's true. You know, it's easy, it's very easy to be sad and angry about the way it is and think about the different possibilities that our life might have gone through if I hadn't done this, if I hadn't done that, if I had, if I had done that in this, then we'd have been in a different situation. But, I mean, if we're only going to think about such alternatives that we could have done in the past, then we're never going to be happy in the present and we can, make our, and we can never make our future great, right? I think that I think that's the point because I've what I've learned in quarantine is don't worry and make yourself sad about the things that you can't change. Past it's something that we cannot change. What you can change is our future and that depends on our present. So what happens in past, we can learn from it. Okay, we can take a lesson from it and uh, use that as a lesson to act, you know, in in accordance and act properly in the future. So uh, I do believe that, right? The way he said, I'm happy that you're alive and I'm alive, right? We don't, we always think about the bad things of the situation, but we don't think about the situation, uh, like good things that have come out of the situation. Maybe Dave, Dave and Dale both have learned to value their lives, lives more after the situation. Maybe they have become more humble, right? So it's very essential to look at the positive aspects of every situation. Y'all gonna make me cry, okay? Everybody's crying. That's true. And I guess this is his, you know, like a redemption arc. Like what he's doing right now is kind of making up for what he's done. The shitty thing that it done, that is done in the past. Thank you. Thank you, RJ. I love this RJ. Like, it's a proper, proper relationship. What they had was like, you know, like they loved each other, but it was not like a proper relationship, right? Yeah. It was like more like a one-sided relationship. Sorry, Talaga. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the house.
Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's so sweet. Ah. Uh. No. I mean, I can't blame Nai to come on. That's her boyfriend, so she'd feel like that, you know. Especially when her boyfriend is also looking at her. Okay. And you're not going on a date, you can just go find with that whatever you're wearing. Does she not have the right to? Yeah, that's true. So true that, right? But sweetie, the way you said it, anybody would blame them. If you had said that to me, I would blame myself for getting sick. Well, you do have lots, sir. We are not disagreeing. Which I feel you need. Don't tell me that's Dave. Oh yes, that's Dave. Now she's gonna have to lie. Oh my God, this man, this man doesn't have in this much of in interest, like a trust, on Max, right? Oh. 
Exactly! Max. very confused kung bakit magkasama na naman kayo nitong si Chavez. And on a day that you told me na you're not feeling well. Nasaba kasi pakaramdam ni Lola Vibes. Kaya binisita siya ni Max kanina. Totoo ba, Max? Obviously, that's true. You should have told me. Ako pa mismo nag-atid sa'yo. Kung sinabi mo lang, Max. Oh, okay, she's gonna have to lie oh, all here. <laughs> Y'all putting ours, you know? Join us for dinner. Masaw tito. Ila ako na pumuwi. Oh, okay. Sige. Next time, RJ. How about you, Dave? Yeah, I'll join you, tito. Good. I'll see you inside. Okay pa, tito. Ano? Sige. Salamat, ingat ka. God. Dave. Hahaha. Ooh, it's such a twisted situation, isn't it? Are you two okay? Yeah, you should never eat din dinner when you're angry, right? Like, you shouldn't eat food. I mean, you shouldn't be eating food being angry. What is she doing? The lock. Girl, don't panic. You're panicking way too much and making it more obvious. Girl, you're making it way obvious. Girl, stop. Well, that integrity and honesty didn't, you know, <laughs> stay for a long time. Isn't Dave uh, gonna know about all the truth in this episode? I guess it's gonna be at the last and they're gonna end it right there, you know, to have the suspense. Why such a, at such a wrong time? What is this? Quality time? You cannot see Max's face, and when you see Max's face, we cannot see Dave's face. Oh shit, fuck. <laughs> I pressed on my moisturizer <laughs> lid and a lot of this moisturizer came out.
If somebody would send me a text like that, I would not be able to sleep all night. Okay, don't do that to me. If you want to say something, say right now. Or if you want to say something tomorrow, then don't talk to me until tomorrow. Don't say that I have something very important to say. Seems like he knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. What I feel like this is a dream. This is way too sudden. This is way too sudden. This is a dream. This is a dream. Come on. Babe. This is a dream. I was there. I saw him. No, you were not there. You didn't see him. Babe. I knew it. I am so smart. Oh, I just got goosebumps. <laughs> Damn, so they showed us that in the clip, so I don't think he's gonna find out in this episode. What is S Pen? I know Pen, but what is S Pen? Come on, I would sense if my friend is not okay, and if they would say I'm okay, I would know that they are lying. I feel like she's gonna and you know, I like erupt. I know we're gonna miss a bow. Okay. So about what you wanted to tell me. You wanna tell me now? Or later? Oh shit. Oh oh she have texted it. Suspect. You made a promise. No lies. 
Oh shit, next episode is the one. <laughs> I thought today was episode is gonna be the painful and we're gonna go towards the nicer one. But it seems like the pain is still there, gonna be there. Anyway, guys, next episode is gonna be painful. I said the same thing last episode, but yeah, it seems like next episode it is. So that'll be it for this video. Hope you like this reaction. If you like this reaction, guys, leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll meet you guys in my next reaction video.